going on everybody woods here and today we are going to be doing a tutorial based video on the top five 1v1 starts that i use in creative have yet to determine which one works the best or which one is actually the fastest but if you decide to use these be sure to comment and let me know which one works best for you or what you guys think is the fastest start number one and by the way guys i'm going to show you a slow version and then i'm going to show you the normal speed version of what it would look like if you're actually using this so the first start that i use i actually probably use the most right now uh, i use all five quite a bit in different scenarios uh, if my opponent's changing the way that they start and we're running into each other's boxes or something i might switch it up and see which one works best against one opponent it may work better against another one or worse that's why it's good to have a couple to use the first start looks something like this crank 290s fake that you're gonna go this way your enemy might think that you're going up so stair pyramid turn around pyramid wall wall stair and double nine Looks like this. You go up, crank up 290s. You fake you're gonna go up this way. You ramp up to the side like this, giving you a little extra space. Stair, uh, floor, wall, wall. You don't have to put the stair, but it's probably best so it doesn't get shot out as easy. But so ramp out to the side, stair, floor, wall, wall, and off of this wall. But two stairs, pyramid, pyramid, floor, floor, and that gives you a little extra space to crank up the nines without, uh, without getting pyramided or anything. The third version looks something like this. I can't really show you guys a slow version of this because it's infinite 90s. Okay, I know a lot of people aren't going to like it, but it works sometimes if you're trying to get that quick height. Crank out some infinite 90s. The only shitty thing is you might get shot in the back, so it looks something like this. When you're doing this, I'll put a slow version as well, but when you're doing this, you're gonna I can't show it in slow, but you're going to want to put these walls before you jump and jump into the next, the next 90s. So... It's hard to it's hard to do but once you're jumping you'd be high enough to be able to place these again so that's the goal you want to you want to jump at a kind of a high point try to jump on an angle like that so that way you're jumping high onto the next 90 and you'll be able to catch yourself on the second 90. So. four start i believe it is i think it's the fourth looks something like this again it's kind of the same as the other one it just allows you to get that space between you and your enemy a little better stair stair crank double 90 stair stair pyramid pyramid floor floor they're gonna think you're coming up this way place a wall a wall a stair ramp up this way and do the same thing ramp it once place a wall do the same thing right here so off this wall stair stair pyramid pyramid floor floor what that's gonna look like over here fake them twice you might go up this way you might go up that way but you're over here cranking these 90s you can crank two you can crank three whatever the fifth star is kind of the same thing as a version of the last version, sorry, um, but it allows you to get a little more space, even a little more space than the other ones I was showing you. I only usually use this if I'm 90 at the start, and me and the person kind of run into each other's box and they're getting shots off, so if I want to get a little more space and just switch it up, I'll do this one. So slow, 
Instead of double 90 you 90 once, you ramp up once here. 90, again, you can double 90. Stair, stair, wall, wall, floor, floor, and off this wall, stair, stair, pyramid, floor, floor. And then you can, again, 2, 92, 92 whatever. So what that does, if I go back down here, instead of usually you just be ramping at your opponent this way or faking it and going out this way, it allows you to kind of get more distance. So instead of just, instead of like a, it's, it's hard to explain, instead of just a distance like this, you're kind of on an angle to them as well. So it kind of offsets things, which is nice. It's, it's not something I use a lot, but it's good to change things up a little bit. 